On uh, to the hospital, um, I know you and the uh, and others in the administration have spoken generally about information you have about hospitals and Hamas operating under them. Is the U.S. taking any steps to declassify, to share more information about what it has specifically regarding? So I, I don't want to t talk about what we may or may not declassify before we take uh, any action, it's just as I don't really want to talk about um, intelligence matters from the podium. As I said yesterday, as you heard the National Security Advisor say uh, over the weekend, and as the Secretary has spoken to, we do know um, that Hamas has used uh, hospitals uh, as command centers and it's buried its tunnels under command centers. And I want to say something uh, about hospitals that, that, you know, number one, we want hospitals to be protected. Um, we don't want to see any civilians and certainly not babies in incubators or other vulnerable populations uh, caught in a crossfire. Um, we want Hamas to stop using hospitals as a command post. That would be the easiest way to solve this problem if they would stop using the civilians that are in hospitals as humanitarian shields. But then I would also say that we want there to be safe evacuation for patients at hospitals so they can get out of harm's way. Um, we would support an independent third party or respected third party to conduct those evacuations. We know the government of Israel would support such a step as well. They have said that they would support such a step. The question is, will Hamas allow patients to be evacuated from hospitals or will they continue to use them as, as human shields? We think an appropriate step would be to support those evacuations so babies and other vulnerable populations are not in harm's way.